proto Batman. No. Um, speaking of matchup check characters. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Wait, can they hear you? Huh? What? Can they hear you? Yeah. Oh, I I assumed that you were like the voice. No, of no, they like can the hear me. Jack okay. can hear me. No, 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 no. Okay. Jack can hear me. Um. Oh, oh my goodness, we were having that little like banter exchange until it took 74. He's gonna get him off stage though, and unfortunately not able to really execute on it. I feel like that's what Peach wants in this matchup. Like get your your horizontal combo starter, um, but then it's not enough to just get the 44. You have to push that advantage state. And right now, Dylan's having a little bit of trouble landing. Uh, maybe a little bit eager to land on top of Minwin when you really gotta play her game. You gotta play your tempo, right? Yeah, this matchup like, does actually kinda suck though. I also see that, um, but it, like Minmin is one of those characters with universal counterplay. It's like she's mm -hmm. gonna do the one two, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta wait for the one two, run up shield, um, and right now it seems like Dylan kind of wants his way in. Oh yeah, another thing that's uh, important to know is characters with held items kind of have a little a little strength against Minmin. Really? Uh, with the recovery, yeah, because you can non-committally either stop her momentum off stage or force her to jump or force her to go low. You just toss that item. Uh, that is true. I, I want to see the turn of edge guards. He just got rid of that Saturn, not even in play. Oh. Yeah, having an item to throw off stage at a recovery, like to remove some of the potential mix they might have, super yeah. useful. Nice. Yeah, and they're using the turn up there. Like, I understand why turn up might not be the best in this matchup, because at the longer range, Minmin kind of contests it. Nice use of the I side I like B. that side B. That's a Dylan classic. He loves that. Um, but I'm wondering if in the mid range, the turn up can be used as kind of like a a tempo breaker for Min Min's arms. Yeah, you Kinda? That. It'll just clank, I'm pretty sure, right? Maybe. I think it depends on if it's an aerial or a, or a smash attack. Ooh, Looks like God. Dylan's not ready to respect that nair, there but there go. he is. He's able to find kind of the gap between the arms. He's float over in that close range, find the back air. He ended up in stocks, but gonna lose it there. Not able to find much off the turn up there. Just thinking it might be a combo starter. Oh, catches out the shield. Nice dash attack. It, it's like with Min Min, you get very rare opportunities to hit her. And when you do, you really get an opportunity to just kind of go in. Stitch comes out, he's not going to get anything. He was able to get so much there, the 80%, but it might all be for nothing. He's on the ledge, trying to come back, rolls right into the ram. How's he gonna come back here? Rolls again, no catch from Exiled. Another roll. Trying to scrap with Exiled, but not able to find the jabs. Down here gonna come out, not connecting to the grab. Exiled just making a little space. Trying to force Queen to come in and find this hit. Able to find that top hit of the forward air, gonna send Exiled off stage. A little premature on the turn up. It feels like, like Exiled can just kind of react to that first turn up decide to go low, and then by the time that Dylan has pulled the second turn up, Exile's already back at the ledge. That Nair gonna come out again. And just catching kind of this drift from Dylan. Trying to see if he can make it back onto the stage. Never mind, take this stock, just engage again. Dash Jack gonna come out, not taking the stock. Turn up, it's putting on pressure, it's not taking the stock. You got him off the ledge, you didn't take the stock. He's off the ledge, you didn't take the stock. He's up 177. Dash attack, gonna take the stock. Now it's an even game. Dylan has a chance to come back into this. Just send Min Min off stage once. Nair her. The one, uh, uh, like the thing that keeps Min Min balanced compared to the other Spider's Pass characters is that she has an ass recovery and you can actually just give her a zero. Okay, that Nair again gonna take the stock. It might have taken all three stocks that set. Um, I feel like Dylan played the first minute really well where it's like he got a little opening and they did like his little shebang shebang. Got him to the ledge. Wasn't quite able to keep the ledge traps going. And I know that Dylan is quite good at ledge trapping. Um, but I think he's he's being a little premature with the turn up throws. And I would prefer to just like hold a turn up and kind of wait for uh, for Exile to do something. Small battlefield here, a little bit of space. Right. Once again, Dylan is on the ledge. Trying to get back versus Min Min is a struggle. Yeah, he's kind of rolling a lot at the ledge, and he's, he's dead. 
I don't have much to say about that one. Sometimes you min min, and sometimes you, uh... Okay. I, 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 I got nothing. I really got nothing. Um, anyone in chat play Pokemon VGC? I think the uh, Ogre Pond's rock form is a little underrated. Bad Nair comes out again. Alright, I'm back. How's Dylan's RNG been? Um, he he got like one stitch and I think one turn up and then kind of just didn't happen. We got um, Young Cloak got hopping on the mic. This is, this is unfortunate. Uh, Dylan's fighting his way back in though. I thought it was over. I'm not even gonna lie. What are we, uh, so looking at here, Butter Dog? Oh, oh, 2 0. Yeah, I said that. Wait, do I have to play now? Okay, never mind. All right, so uh, we're back. Um, I. Cal's got sets to play. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just, like, Min Min is a character you have to win the matchup for, and I don't know if Dylan has the experience right now just watching. Do we have any other Min Mins? There was Misa, there was but she Misa. hasn't been there was in a while. That one Min Min who came to not like twice, Yasmat, I think his name was. Oh yeah, he was like touring. Or yeah, something, he was, right? he was yeah. from somewhere. Um, but it's not a matchup you see a lot around here. And I think it's like yeah. once you practice a matchup a lot, it's like you kind of learn the ledge trap, float shard, you learn her neutrals, you learn her narrow range. Um, oh, turn up online. Or, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Saturn online. Ooh, nice, let's go. Nice setup on the Saturn. Um, a Min Min at GU. It, it just feels like. There's a minute to you. Like, Dylan's trying to learn it on the spot right now. And you can see he's doing better, because the game, like, you know, it, it wasn't like a one-minute washout. Um, but it's just a little too late right now. No, I sure don't think this is a best of five. Uh, Queen definitely got a shot. It gets closer, definitely. He's getting better every game. Well, hold on a second, hold on a second. He's, this is he's a getting good... the juggles now, which I like. You're, you're taking advantage of Min Min's disadvantage state, which, which you learn along the way, too. Oh, yeah. Exile doesn't let me get back here. Yeah. Turn trapped. Yeah. Yeah, you can't be fading in like that. Mm -hmm. It's really hard, like you said, it does look like a hard matchup. Because what does Peach do in that kind of like a little bit longer than the 